So, hi again. Um, back with my Acer Aspire laptop. Uh, my new one, I, I'm using it for a month now. Uh, last month I did the SSD upgrade and an uh, M2 SSD upgrade. There's a video on my channel where I did that. And uh, now we're doing a speed test. A boot up speed test and a, yeah, SSD speed test. Okay, so my laptop is the VN7571G55BL uh, Acer Aspire. Uh, it's a great laptop, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think I'll do a review about it in a few weeks, I don't know, when I have time, where I talk about a few issues that you can have with this laptop or that I had. Yeah, uh, okay. So, first the laptop normally uses UEFI boot so it comes with UEFI bootloader uh, you can change that in the uh, in the BIOS and I did that because I installed Windows 7 and uh, Linux Mint in dual boot Windows 7 uses uh, legacy boot normally so that was kind of necessary I think it also works in UEFI but I didn't want to mess with it because I just uh, know how it works with the, uh, with the legacy boot and I'm not experienced with UEFI so I did it with legacy uh, UEFI normally boots a little bit faster I think I heard that so could be that when you are using UEFI with this laptop that your boot up is faster uh, second um, as I'm using dual boot the laptop first boots into the group loader so uh, that takes a little time and uh, then I can choose my operating system uh, I won't stop this time I'll, so I, I just uh, stop the time from powering on to the group loader then I'll stop the time and uh, when I uh, have chosen my operating system I'll uh, continue the timer uh, okay what else I think I forgot something uh, oh yeah okay I have uh, two hard drives in it um, the the M2 SSD and a an, uh, 2.5 inch HDD and I think the uh, the fact that I have two hard drives in there slows down the Windows uh, boot a little bit because uh, Windows mounts the uh, HDD when when starting up you will see that when I uh, start Windows uh, it'll it'll have two little lags uh, the the startup animation has some some lags and I think that's because of the HDD. I'm not pretty sure. I just googled a little bit and I saw people having the same issue that the boot up is a little bit slowed down when having two uh, hard drives. So I think the HDD is the issue here. Okay, now we'll start. Um, I'll stop the time with my handy just to have a, an idea how long it takes. Uh, I will uh, try to uh, to uh, edit a timer into the video. I'm not really experienced with editing uh, video editing, but <laughs> I think I'll Try to do this. Okay, so when pushing the button I'll start the timer and I stop it when the group loader has loaded go <coughs> Oh, There it was around five seconds to the bootloader now I can choose my choose my operating system. I will choose Windows 7 <clears throat> and uh, then I will continue the timer. So Windows is loading. Now it has the lags. You see that? There are some lags when loading up. It's not really much. I think it's two seconds or something like this. Okay. 25 seconds and there's the desktop. I will start Firefox. takes a little time so 35 seconds and Firefox is loaded and I can use it okay maybe some some other demonstrations just uh, the application starting speed is about I don't know two or three seconds when when the Windows is, uh, is loaded Mathematica I don't know yeah all loads really fast. Um, maybe some Office applications. What do I have? Microsoft Office, Excel. 
Yeah, it all. I mean, uh, I don't have any issues with starting applications. All is working really fast. I can start the. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you, you see all is really working fast. Uh, and this is my HDD, this is the, the slower hard drive. And as I said, Windows always loads all the hard drives on startup. I think that is what's slowing it down a little bit. We'll boot into Linux now, and you'll see that this is a little bit faster, and also the application starting is much faster in Linux. Uh, is there anything I want to show you here? I think no, so that's it. We're shutting down. Um, yeah, the shutdown is also really fast. Just a few seconds. I think 10 seconds or something. So now it's shut down. Let's reset the timer. And power on again. Group loader after 4 seconds. And we'll boot into Linux Mint. So that just took about 10 seconds from group loader to uh, oh, to Linux Mint and I can use Firefox almost instantly. So this is really great in, in Linux. It, it boots up really fast. It uh, I think the, um, uh, the good thing about this is that Linux doesn't load all the hard drives on startup. Um, I have uh, configured it that way that it boots my, uh, it, it mounts my my uh, HDD drive after startup. Normally it doesn't do that. You have to mount all the hard drives after startup yourself, but you can configure it so that it boots, uh, that it mounts the hard drives after boot up. And it, it's working really fast. So I'm in the operating system after 15 seconds. I can instantly use uh, Firefox. It's working really fast. Uh, I think maybe some Office application, yeah, LibreOffice all is booting up extremely fast. But I think the application startup wasn't a real issue in, in Windows also, so... Uh, of course, all applications are starting really fast. So, now maybe a speed test in uh, the... disks application. I can uh, check the speed on this hard drive. Uh -huh benchmark and we'll start the benchmark. Yup, start benchmarking. Okay. Authenticate. So I think you don't really see. Get a little bit closer. So we're having an average read rate of 404, average write rate of 280. That's pretty good. I mean, uh, it's not as good as the Samsung Evo, but I think the M2 slot uh, doesn't have any problems. So uh, um, I've got a cheap model. It's uh, my SSD is from Transcend, 256 gigabyte. Uh, so it's a little bit slower than the uh, top SSDs like the Samsung Evo, but it's good enough. Uh, yeah, good. Just to for to have a comparison, check the speed on my HDD. Is it this one? Check this benchmark. Okay, what? Okay, benchmark. Start benchmark. Start benchmarking and go. I'm sorry. Ooh. So it's uh, much slower. We have an, an average read rate of 100 here, and uh, right rate of around 80. So the read rate is more than four times faster on the SSD and the write rate uh, also around four times faster. Uh, I gotta say it's an uh, the, the hard drive that is in here is an SHDD so it has an SSD uh, cage pet petition oh, around 8 gigabyte that speeds up the, the the speed of the hard drive. So I think for uh, normal writing and reading it's uh, slower than the benchmark says. It's, no, it says around 90 megabyte per second. Uh, I think you don't see it, huh? 
Oh, but it's okay. And 75 uh, megabyte per second is writing. And when you look at the, at, the, at the picture, you see that the speed slows down. So I think the speed at the beginning here is because it's an SHDD. But yeah, that's just what I think. I'm not an expert. Okay, so I think that's about it. I've shown you everything that there is to show. Um, yeah, application startups. I guess you have seen that it's really fast. So shut down also just a few seconds here. Hmm, okay, that takes longer than normally, but yep, now it's shutting down. Okay, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, if you uh, wanted to see this the speed of this laptop that this helped you um, if you're interested in this laptop and uh, you wanted to see something uh, of it uh, I think I'll do a review in a few weeks as I said maybe that'll help you in deciding if you want to buy this laptop I totally recommend it it's a great laptop it's great features so uh, thanks for watching and um, bye